Okay, today we are going to talk about solving for displacement. Kasi you already know that distance is very easy. All you need to do is just to add all the given uh, data and you will end up with having your distance. So displacement kasi, you need to learn a basic trigonometric uh, formula which is known as the Pythagorean Theorem. So ano nga ba yung Pythagorean Theorem, no? You are too young for this, pero sige lang. So, the Pythagorean Theorem refers to solving for for the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle. Okay, so right angle triangle are those triangle that looks like this, no? Yung mga may ganyan. All of those that looks like that, hindi yan. Kasi dapat right angle eh. Yan. Something like that. Okay, yan ang ibig sabihin ng right angle triangle. And hypotenuse refers to this side. And the other term for hypotenuse refers to longest side of a right angled triangle. Okay? So, longest side of the right angled triangle. So, paano nga ba natin sinosolve ito? Okay. So, we have certain uh, legs kasi, no? So, for a right angle triangle kasi, you should know that they are actually noted there are certain uh, legs that you need to be familiar with. So, longest side is represented by letter C. And both legs, the other legs, are represented by A or B. Okay, depende yan. They can be interchanged. As A and B should be this part. Depende yan. Okay? So, pero always, this part is always C, the longest side. What I'm trying to say dito sa A and B is that both can be interchanged. This can be B, this can be A, this can be B, this can be A. Okay, depende na yan. It doesn't matter when you solve it. Kasi whichever you're going to make use of, you still have the correct answer. So, paano natin sinasolve ito? The Pythagorean Theorem. Originally written, it's C squared equals A squared plus B squared. But when you're solving this na, your final equation should be C equals to the square root of A squared plus B squared. So, ano yung C natin? Ano yung A? Ano yung B? Again, you already know. You, ang kailangan nyo lang talaga dito is kunin yung value ng C, kunin yung value ng A, kunin yung value ng B. Okay. In other words, in this case, you need to make use of your calculator. Okay. Meron tayong calculator and all you need to do, yung calculator nyo, if, you, kung if you're going to make use of your phone, try to flip, flip, try to flip your phone and there will be extended, uh, ano pa to? Extended mga signs that you will be familiar, you are not familiar with sa calculator. And all you need to do is to look for this sign. Okay. All you need is just to look for that sign. And also, kasi ganun lang yan eh. Ganun lang muna. Yun muna ang sasabihin ko sa inyo. I, I, I will tell you something at the end. So, kunwari lang, with, eh, paano natin ginagamit to? I'm going to teach you how to make use of this. How to make use of that is, kunwari we have a right angle triangle. And let's say this measures roughly around 7 centimeters. And this is roughly around uh, 3 centimeters. So you can note this as your A. Depends nga. Depende na sa inyo. You can note it as your B. Depende na sa inyo. Ang importante is that you know that the longest side is your C. Okay. So using the formula, C is equals to... Square root of A squared plus B squared. Okay. 
C equals to the square root of what is your A? Represent nyo yung A ninyo, which is 3 centimeters, open and close, squared, plus B ninyo, which is 7, open and close, parenthesis, squared. When you say squared, it's actually the, the equal to 3 times 3. And when you say 7 squared, it's the same as 7 times 7. So which means dito, 3 squared is equivalent to 3 times 3, which is 9. Plus 7 times 7 is 49. Getting the square root of what's 9 plus 49? This will give us 58. So, dito na tayo ngayon. You already have your square root of 58. What do you need to do here? Kailangan nyo lang gawin dito ngayon is to get your calculators. Look for that sign, this sign. So, all you need to do is to press this and press 58. Okay. But there are certain calculators that will not work that way. There are certain calculators that you need to press 58 first for the given number, then press the square root sign. Okay? Ganyan lang ang pag-answer nyo. So, in this case, I'm going to, in my calculator, what I need to do is to press this first, square root of 58. And if you notice, this is not a perfect square, so ang answer dito is endless. So, I, I will only advise you to take the first three digits, 7.615. Try this on your calculator para makita nyo how big the number is, especially for cell phones na pwedeng i-rotate. 7.615, then i-round off nyo to the two decimal places. Yan. So, since this is 5, you'll end up this number being 2. So, that's 7.62. If you don't know how to round off, sige lang, I will consider this answer. Ang importante that you'll be able to answer this. Okay. There's actually an application sa Google. For those who are using mga... Uh, pwede naman, mag-search lang kayo sa Google. That can help you a lot for this one. No more solving. Pero yun na nga, mas advice ko sana that you need to do this. Uh, you need to show me your solution nga sana. Uh, sa Google kasi, just search Pythagorean. Sorry, uh, you're only supposed to, s to type hypotenuse pala, sorry. Try to type hypotenuse. Then you'll have an immediate calculator. No, I hit enter, I hit nyo yung enter. Then it will, the, the, the Google search will basically give you a calculator in which all you need to do is just to put the data for NB. I'll try to show you, ha? Huh? Wait lang. Okay, so ito, I have typed uh, hypotenuse. And all you need to do is you put your value for A or, or B. So, kunwari nga kanina, sa A natin is equivalent to 3. And our B is equivalent to 7. So, solve for hypotenuse. Medyo hindi tayo binibigyan ng answer. Again, 3... 7. Okay, where's the answer? The, the, it doesn't give us the answer. It doesn't give us the answer. So, try natin i-click na lang. What's the point of this? Tapos hindi ito binibigyan ng answer. Try nyo na lang a, di a different website. The first result that was given to you. Start by entering numbers. So in this case, dito na si A is 3. And we have 7 here. Rounded off. So malayo yung answer natin. I don't, ah, kasi ni round off nila to 3 decimal places pala. Okay. So yun na. We have our answer here. So just go to this ko na lang. To this website. If you want to, pero I, then I'm going to advise you to, kung pwede, as much as possible, is to make use of uh, this formula, okay? And a calculator. So, going back. So, that's basically how you solve for the hypotenuse, okay? Isa-isa nyo lang. If you have questions, please do ask me. Kasi, ang, uh, you know, you don't basically ask a lot, anything at all. So, this is how you basically solve. Madali lang yan. So, if you have any questions, please do ask. Okay, wait, I forgot. I'm not done yet, Papala. I need to teach you how to apply this. 
uh, Pythagorean theorem sa displacement. Sorry about that. My bad. Okay. So, let's say we have point A traveling at this point. Tayo pa mag-adjust. My goodness, talaga to si point A. And going here, this is point B. So, your distance, you'll be able to get it. For example, lang, like kanina nga, using the same examples. C, 3 cm and you have a 7 cm dyan and like a 3 cm dito. So, our distance now, we can say that our distance is equivalent to 10 centimeters. And, Solving for our uh, displacement, because nga, displacement refers to this point. To this point. Diba? So, yan yung displacement. And if you notice now, it forms like a right angled triangle. This is where the displacement comes in. Okay? So, magiging displacement na yan siya. And yun na nga, solving for this term, yun na yung gawin nyo, yung ginawa ko sa inyo kanina. And there will also be situation in which, uh, for example, point A ninyo, travel here, down here, then another there, and stops here. Again, your displacement is uh, from this point to this point. Okay. Now, if you notice, teacher mark, wala namang right angle triangle dyan. Baka sabihin nyo sa akin, you might tell me, teacher mark, is it this one and this one? Well, basically, pwede. Pero if you're going to make use of this technique, you're going to solve for two. So there's one way to solve to, for you to be able to solve uh, right this one immediately. By simply combining this, no? Parang let's take this side, this, let's take this area over here. So I combine nyo to, forming it like a right angle triangle. So all you need to do now is to, you, you for example, nga, let's say this is... Um, Let's say this is 4 centimeters, and then this is 7 centimeters, and this is roughly around 3, this one is 3 centimeters. Okay. So, since you were able to take this, no, I'll take this out para mas makuha nyo lang. I will take this out. So, if you know, pangit naman ng drawing. Okay, mas pangit na. So anyway, forming a right angled triangle ngayon dyan. So this is the red shaded part dito. So it is this one. All you need to do is to get its total length. No? For example, at this point, it's 7. And from here to here naman, it's 4 centimeters. So adding both. Bakit ito naging 4? Kasi this is 4. The same lang yan. Opposite sides are equal. ba? So... 4 plus 7 will give us 11 centimeters. And knowing that this is equivalent to 3, which means this side opposite of it should also be 3. So now you have a, a right angle triangle in which you are going to solve for your hypotenuse, which is this one. So then again, solving that, the equation is equivalent to C equals to the square root of A squared plus B squared. So, C equals square root of, ano yung A ninyo, whichever you want to take. So, in this case, I'll take 3 squared plus 11, open close parenthesis, squared. 3 times 3 will give us 9. And 11 times 11 will give us 121. Adding both, we now have square root of 130. And taking the square root of 130, using the calculator, in my case, I'm going to press this sign first, then press or input 130, and hit the equal sign. Or, depend on the calculator nyo. And uh, the activity now gives me, I mean, the calculator now gives me 11.401. Okay, round off nyo to two decimal places. It depends kung marunong kayo mag-round off, okay lang. If hindi, so since this is just 1, so this 0 will remain as 0. So the final answer is 11.40 centimeters. So that is how you apply uh, the Pythagorean theorem to displacement problems. Okay.